Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a little naky baby. And the reason for that is that I finally finished her hair. So I figured I would do a small little video dressing her up in some in a cute little outfit. I'm hoping it fits. It might fit her a little big, but that's okay. Everything fits Paisley big. <laughs> and as you can see, who's there? Easton! <laughs> I told you guys, that little bunny follows me everywhere. Anyway, so back to Paisley. So yeah, I finished her hair today with this on. And, oh my god, it was such a challenge because this piece right here doesn't let me bend my thumb down to do this. That's where I have the, the problem. And so to hold hair to like root, I have like a little like flappy thing going on here <laughs> which was not easy and now the rest of my fingers hurt on this hand but I was so tired of seeing her bald on the on the back of her head and so I decided you know what I'm just gonna do it slowly all day today I've been working on it and I finally finished that's why she's wearing the little hat I buy this one for her today because she's so tiny that all the passies that we have that I have are like really big on her and they cover like this much of her face so because she has like a tiny little open mouth I'm able to modify them like and just leave this little tiny piece so that I don't have to use a magnet with her because her magnet because of her lips her magnet lies like right about here and sometimes the the passies that do have magnets they'll fit her like something like that which is awful so with her I found that the best way is just to modify it and just use this little piece of done with her she has hair and this is not doggy fur this is her little fur so I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder just for her to smell good and so yeah today's been a ugh. A weird day I've had to <clears throat> my car battery died and I spent hours trying to fix it well not fix it but trying to figure out how to I have such a huge problem <laughs> I um I have a, a battery charger but it's inside my other car and oh wow these are super big paisley you know what time out let me see if i have a smaller diaper for this little girl because this is a little too big be right back gosh guess what i found <laughs> in looking for a diaper that would fit her i found the twins one of the twins old baby diapers look at how tiny these were especially they they were for katie this little diaper is 12 years old is by pampers and this is back to sleep <laughs> newborn and as you can see it's even a little yellow inside of how old it's 12 years old almost 13 years old I found it in the, I have a bin that I have like all my favorite clothes of the of the twins when they were very tiny. And I found this tiny diaper which is perfect for her. So let's check out how this fits her. Ew, much better, I can tell already. Wow, she's wearing Caitlyn's diaper. I don't want it to get messed up because this is something I actually want to save. And luckily for me and us, with these little babies, they don't ever ruin the diapers. Not fully, anyway. <laughs> you can actually save them. Wow, I feel how perfect to think, oh my god. To think my daughter wore these and they were too big on Katie and this she's a preemie Paisley's a preemie and so was so were the twins but Caitlin was really really small and this diaper fit her like this one fit her that's how this so Caitlin was 
smaller than this tiny little girl. It's amazing, wow. But it fits her perfect. How cute is that? She doesn't really have clothes because I can't find any that'll fit her. And and I feel bad because like the other babies, like they're all in their little spring dresses, Emma and Holly. And, she, and even um Elizabeth. And she has nothing like summery, so this was, I bought this for Emma, but I washed it and it shrunk. So I'm hoping that it will fit her. It's by Carter's Newborn, but it's so little that it fits Emma now tight, like the little top. So I'm thinking, hopefully with the little, little shorts, with a little t-shirt underneath, because she's not full armed. So let's get her into a little onesie I couldn't find a plain I have white onesies but I couldn't find a plain white one for her like that would fit her this one says newborn no this one's actually a preemie with little pink sheeps so I know this will fit her So yeah, like I was saying about my st stupid car, so I have a, another car that hasn't worked in quite a while and the doors don't open because everything is dead, not even with the key. And inside that car is the battery charger that I need to start the car that I am now using and so it got too dark and it's been rainy and cold over here again so I can get into the car that has the battery charger in order to charge my now current car it's ugh. oh my god what a day so now I have to wait up it's 2.20 in the morning. <laughs> and part of the reason why I'm doing this video is just try and stay up. Because now I have to wait for my son-in-law to come out of work. Because he lives pa a little past me. And to come out of work to stop by my house. So that in the dark. Remember, I live in the woods. Very, very dark at night. Um, so we can actually try and boost my car. Because I need to go do a few things tomorrow morning and so now I have to wait for him to get here to give me a boost like they say so that I can have a car to get off this mountain Ugh, horrible horrible long day I need to somehow get my other car the one that's not working i have to get those doors open somehow because this is ridiculous i cannot be without a car where i live it freaks me out it makes me nervous because i'm by myself up here in a mountain with the two kids and i don't like knowing that god forbid there's an emergency of any kind and i don't have a car to get off this mountain to leave the mountain you would have to walk what, 20 miles maybe? In the dark, up and down hills, just to get off the mountain. Not that you're gonna reach any stores or anything, cause you're gonna reach, it's, it's just scary. It's, I don't like feeling like, oh my God, I'm stuck here, and oh my God, now what, you know? It's really nerve wracking. So yeah, so far, <laughs> the little shorts fit her okay. They're not entirely perfect, but she's summery. Well, she's getting there anyway. <laughs> right, Paisley? Are you tired? She's really tired from all the rooting. <laughs> Somehow I feel bad rooting the babies. I don't know. I'm nuts. <laughs> but I do. I, I feel like, oh no, because it looks so painful. Oh, yay. You see? You have an outfit. A summery spring one. Oh, I'm so happy it fits her. She actually has something to look summery in. 
it actually has little working pockets with little gray bows. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, and okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in. So to reveal her beautiful baby locks. <laughs> Okay, so I laid her on her tummy just so you guys could see the back of her head. I don't know if you guys remember, but in my previous videos with her, um, she was missing the whole back side of her head. And voila! Thank God I am done. Originally, I started micro-rooting, which of course you guys know is one hair at a time. Um, but because of this, that became super hard to finish her off that way. There might be two or three little hairs in each plug. I tried my best to, to continue to just the most three hairs, but it's really hard. I mean, as if any of you guys root hair, you know that this is a really time consuming and not easy and it's really hard on my hands. I like to root, however, my hands don't. And so because of that, I had to take a little shortcut when it comes to what I originally had in mind for her, but I think it turned out well. She might need a few little snips here and there. I finally gave her um, her overall little haircut today and um, the reason why I'm not moving her too much is because my camera um, doesn't auto focus so I don't want it to come out of focus but let me turn her over and I um, I added a little more hair to the top and I and I um I cut a lot of the sides because I was what I was aiming for was how Caitlin looked when she was born and Caitlin had, of course, more hair up here than here. And on the sides, you would be able to see, like, her little skull, the scalp. So that's what I was aiming for when it comes to Paisley. I still have to style it. I'm going to put a little, like, stocking just to, like, reinforce the hair to continue in the style that I want to like comb it but yeah she is finally finished hooray for paisley and it looks so cute I can't believe it fit her this well let's put her a little bow oh what a relief <laughs> to finish a baby wow she took me so long because of my hand there she is all finished up I am so excited she looks so cute now I'm gonna stare at her for the next couple of days and she has an official little summer outfit that fits quite well so yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching please give me a big thumbs up if you liked the video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and the babies and i will see you in our next video bye guys